Known for their silky white coat and their playful and confident personality, the tiny Maltese dog ranks among the aristocrats of the canine world. On top of the irresistible looks, they've also gained a reputation for being low-shedding, long-living, happy little pets. Over the years, however, many different Maltese mixed breeds have been developed with all kinds of different features. But which one of these would suit you best? Sit back and relax as we go over the 10 different crosses of the Maltese and discover their unique characteristics so that you can find the perfect one for you and your family. Number 10. Mautzer when two breeds were known for their big personalities, despite their tiny stature are crossed together, you can expect the mixed breed to be a spunky little fellow. Well, that is exactly the case with the Mautzer, a Maltese and miniature Schnauzer mix. Weighing no more than 20 pounds at maturity, with a max height of about 12 inches, these tiny guys are known to be fun-loving and loyal companions. The Mautzer's Maltese heritage gives them a sweet and gentle nature, while their miniature Schnauzer side provides a more independent and curious personality. They're also likely to inherit the impressive intelligence of the Maltese, making them one of the smartest breeds there is. The Mautzer's coat is typically curly and hypoallergenic, which makes these dogs a great choice for people with allergies. This mix is known for its high energy levels, so it's important to provide them with plenty of exercise and mental stimulation to keep them happy and healthy. Despite their high energy though, the Mautzer is an excellent apartment dog as long as they get enough daily exercise. Number 9. Papatees the rich heritage of the Papillon blends with the ancient roots of the Maltese to bring you the Papatees, a pup who is all about cuddles and physical attention. As yet another tiny Maltese mix, the Papatees, also known as the Maltion, weighs only about 8 to 10 pounds while standing at 8 to 10 inches tall. With an eager to please personality and a genial disposition, this breed is sure to bring a smile on your face whenever you're feeling low. They love to be the center of attention and flourish when they're included in family activities. However, the Papatees is not a great choice for families with young children because of their small stature. These dogs must be handled delicately and with care, so it's best to keep them away from infants who might harm the dog unknowingly. But in families with adults or even older kids, the Papatees are sure to make a fine addition with their affectionate personality, their low-maintenance grooming needs, and the overall joy and happiness they bring into your home. Number 8. Moxie the Moxie is a cross between the Maltese and the Dachshund. They inherit both the long, soft fur coat of the Maltese and the long, sausage-like body of the Dachshund, giving them a unique appearance. They're easygoing by nature and very adoring. These pups are also quite easy to train and are suited to any climate and type of home. But before you run off to get one of these pups for yourself, do consider that these guys are quite high maintenance. They require daily brushing and grooming as debris can easily get trapped in their fur which can lead to painful mats forming. What's more, the Dachshund heritage makes the Moxie part hound, so they inherit instincts like a territorial nature for instance. This just means that their owner will have to spend some extra time and effort trying to curb these instincts with techniques like early socialization and positive reinforcement training. Number 7. Maltishan if the gentle and peaceful nature of the Maltese could be combined with the more cheerful and outgoing Bichon Frise, who is similar to the Maltese in both temperament and appearance, what would the end result be? Well, the answer to that is the Maltese Frise or the Bichon Maltese, although the name Maltishan rolls off the tongue more easily. The Bichon's good looks and intelligence have both been inherited by this cunning canine who is just as lively, affectionate, and playful as the two parent breeds. Their intelligence results in an easily trainable pup, although some individuals might be a little stubborn at times, requiring more patience. Early training and socialization are particularly important as Maltishans can develop traits like timidity, insecurity, and yappiness, all of which are commonly found in toy-sized breeds. Their grooming needs might also prove to be a hassle for most owners, as behind the stunning looks of a Maltishan is an owner who takes the time to brush their dog's coat daily to prevent mats and tangles from forming. Separation anxiety is also a concern among Maltishan owners, as these dogs are very sensitive by nature. Number 6. Morky if the fluffy coat of a Maltese coupled with the playful personality of a Yorkie is what you want, the Morkie might be the perfect breed for you. Known by many different names such as Malky, Yorkie Malt, and York Tees, this is a small and fragile framed pup who will surely surprise you with their tendency to take on bigger dogs despite their small size, which is a trait that they've inherited from the Yorkshire Terrier. Active and playful, Morkies might break into zoomies at a moment's notice, so keep an eye out for a little furball running around at all times so you don't lose them around the house. They're timid by nature and they tend to be wary of others. These pups can quickly develop small dog syndrome, leaving them neurotic, yappy, and demanding. As a result, owners must make sure to provide their Morkies with proper training and socialization from an early age. However, one thing that's hard to do even with training is breaking their watchdog tendencies. 
just know that your Morky will not shy away from providing lots and lots of loud warnings about any lurking dangers, even if there are none. Number 5. Malchi When you crossbreed a Maltese with a Sichu, you get the Malchi. An adorable and loyal pup will proudly sit on your lap like it's their very own throne. Typically weighing 6 to 12 pounds, with a height of up to 10 inches, it's hard to believe that you're not looking at an animated, stuffed animal. Due to their Sichu heritage, these puppers are highly attentive and are known for prioritizing their people. They're friendly, playful, and smart, making them suitable for all kinds of households, including children, elders, and even other pets. They're also highly trainable with an eager-to-please disposition, making them a great choice for both first-time and experienced dog owners. They've been known to make great therapy dogs too and have been noted to be perfect for retired people looking for a new addition. Just keep in mind that their love of humans means that the Malchi does best with people who are around and available for most part of the day. Number 4. Malti Pug what if your dog could have a both stunning appearance and a comical personality? If that's the sort of pup you want, look no further than the Maltese Pug. With both the Maltese and the Pug having a history of being bred as companions, the Maltese Pug is sure to have a lovely and easygoing disposition, making them fantastic lap dogs. Their pug heritage means they can be a bit of a clown and will be sure to keep you laughing and entertained. Another trait that they inherit from their pug parent is the distinctive short snout, although the Maltese Pug's snout is likely to be slightly longer. This helps mitigate some of the breathing and health issues issues faced by short-snouted breeds like the pug. Grooming is another aspect that potential owners should take into consideration as the multi pug sports extensive grooming needs, requiring daily brushing to prevent mats and cleaning of their ears and folds to prevent infections. Number 3. Multi Palm If traveling with a canine companion is more of your thing, the best Maltese mix for you might just be the multi Palm. While they might not be as popular as other Pomeranian mixes, they're not any less charming with the gentle temperament of the Maltese and the alert and intelligent nature of the Pomeranian. They're small in size, weighing between 3 and 8 pounds, and standing at around 8 inches tall, which just makes them easier to carry around. This, coupled with their highly adaptable nature, makes multi Palms the perfect choice for families who enjoy traveling. Their adaptable nature also means that they do equally well living in both a tiny apartment and a large house. Before you opt out to get one of these guys, make sure to check for any kinds of noise restrictions in your area, as both the Maltese and the Pomeranian have a tendency to bark, making it more likely that your multi palm will like to do it as well. On the other hand, this can be great if you're looking for an alert watchdog instead. Number 2. Malchi The spunkiness of the Chihuahua coupled with the cuteness boost from the Maltese results in the adorable Malchi. These small dogs are gentle and affectionate with a playful personality that often seems too big for their tiny bodies, which is a courtesy of their Chihuahua lineage. One of their key characteristics, however, is their loyalty. They're very protective of their family and can sometimes even be aggressive towards threats if not prevented. They have very little tolerance for children of any age and they tend to get snappy or snarly when annoyed. So interactions between your Malchi and your kids should always be supervised. While early socialization and training can help curb these tendencies, we generally do not recommend Malchis for households with children or other animals. Instead, they make excellent companions for the elderly who like to enjoy a slower-paced life. Your Malchi will always be eager to see you and will love nothing more than to cuddle up on your lap after a long day. So if a small and jolly companion is what you're looking for, the Malchi might be the perfect breed for you. Number 1. Malti Poo And finally at number 1 is the perfect companion for virtually every kind of family, the Malti Poo. The breed is also known by many other names like Malti Doodle, Moodle, and even Maltese Poo. Inheriting the gentle lap dog tendencies of the Maltese and the highly intelligent and curious nature of Poodle, the Malti Poo is truly the best of both worlds. They're always down to both curl up on their owner's lap or have a fun session of playtime. They're patient and kind companions for everyone, young and old, and are sure to fit right into almost any home, whether that be a busy family or a single-person household. They also inherit the hypoallergenic coats of both parent breeds, making them an excellent choice for people with allergies. At the same time, their intelligence and eager-to-please nature make them easy to train, which is why they're well-suited for first-time owners as well. With all these features lined up, the Malti Poo seems like just the perfect breed, which is part of the reason why they're rapidly growing in popularity and rightfully so. Alright folks, that marks the end of the list. Thank you so much for watching. Maltese are a favorite among dog owners for all the right reasons, and Maltese mixes with their additional features have managed to grab the hearts of many more people. Perhaps that's the case with you too. If so, which Maltese mix is your favorite? Did we leave them out of the list? Comment down below to let us know. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends and family as well. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.